Hello everyone and welcome once again to our channel. So in our previous video, I already showed you on how to install SQL Server 2019 and I already showed you on how to set up and configure SSRS 2019. Now I'm going to show you on how to install Report Builder and we will try to create a simple report after we install the Report Builder. So what is a uh, Microsoft Report Builder? So Microsoft Report Builder is a tool used to uh, design a report for SSRS. So it was also developed by Microsoft uh, specifically to create and build report for SSRS. So to download the SSRS, we need to access this URL. So I will all, I will also provide the link in the description below. So it was uh, published this uh, August 29, and this version of uh, Report Builder can also be used in uh, SSRS 2016 and 2017. So the total size is 23.6 MB. So beforehand, I already download a copy of this. So it was. Here, SQL Server 2019. So here, Report Builder. So I just install it. So click Next. I accept my terms. Click Next. Report Builder. So I just use the default installation path. Click Next. Target Server URL. So we need to get the Report Server. So our report server, we can get it from the settings. So, so here is the report server. So under the web service URL. So we can just click this, then copy, and then paste it here. Okay. Click next and install. Okay. So let's just click finish. Okay. Now let's try to open the installed report builder so this is the one report builder just click so now it will try to connect to our report server so just to get the existing files there but currently we don't have anything so we from here we can generate a new report so but first we want to open the web portal so under the web portal, we will just create a new data source. So this data source, we will use it on every report that we will create on Report Builder. So we have a universal uh, data source to be used. So let's try SSRS. SQL Server, then this one, let's just change. So this is our SQL Server 2019 server. So this is my computer name and this is the instance of our SQL Server. So how do we know that this is the correct instance? So from here, once we connect, so this is the server name, okay? So let's go back here and then the database so i create i already created the database earlier which is ssrs tutorial so this one so copy this one and then change it here and then trusted connection is just equal to true so let's just test connection connected successfully then create okay so now we have ssrs to source so now here, uh, we'll go back to our report builder. So let's just create new report. So let's just create blank report. Okay. So we have here the menu. So from where we can insert some of the items. So but basically we'll just use the basic ones for this uh, tutorial. So here. We have the built-in fields, so from where we have the execution time, etc. Report name, also parameters. So here we have the data sets and data source. For the data source, let's just create new uh, 
add use the shared connection the one that we created earlier let's click browse and this one as you can see we see the ssrs tooth source let's click that open test connection and then okay so let's have the data source one and now we will create a data set so the data set will be uh, the source of our report so it can be a table or it can be a stored procedure data source data source is data source one let's just do select asterisk from Run. so should be something like this click ok and then fields so as you can see it pre-listed the fields that is available on our table so let's just click ok okay so this we will just design our report so let's just remove this so let's just add header then inside the header we just insert a text box so test ssrs report okay so just increase the size so this this header will be printed on each page of our report same goes with the putter so this is the execution time so just just leave it right now so now let's just insert a table so from where we can put all the fields so this will be the header so let's put the card number card name department and second color right and then department type So let's try to run the report if it didn't work. So let's just design this up here. Align this. Let's just quick run. So it will take some time because uh, I think I have 4,000 records on my table so let's just minimize it. Click design, go to our dataset, query, so let's just maybe type 1,000 on it. So it will only get 1,000 records from my table. Okay, so it will generate more faster. So to design this, we can make the center. So if we want to add uh, borders to the report, so we can highlight this all and click this. Select this. So as you can see, there are borders. So let's try to pan again. So as you can see, there are borders. So this is page one, page two, page three. So, but as you can see, the header is only printed or displayed on page 1. On page 2, it's not showing. So, we don't know what is this column about. So, let's try to solve this problem. So, now let's try to solve the issue on header not repeating on each page. So, we just need to, here, under columns, there is a small button here. Click here, advance to show some of the column in groups so here in the static click this one select fix data and also this one repeat on new page so now let's try this again let's try to move to the next page so as you can see the header is now repeating on each page 
So now let's just adjust a bit the size of our report so it so it will fit exactly to the A4 size paper. So it's around 19.5 because including the margins. It's just this. Just the name. So let's try to run again. Okay, so now this is our report. So now we will save our report. So let's let like seek save us. So as you can see it will be saved on our report server. So let's just try okay. test report one. Save. Okay, so let's try to go to our server. Click refresh or F5. Okay, so as you can see, this is our new report created. Okay, so so let's just discuss a bit about these uh, parameters. So this parameter is can be used if you want to pass some information or details to use report if it can be coming from a uh, asp.net mbc or any uh, program that you use to call your ssrs report so let's try for example add the parameter parameter name header title from header title so just text Okay, so here let's just change this instead of a fixed header. So let's try to get it from the parameter. So let's go expression. So instead of test report, so let's click parameters and click header title. Click okay, so if we run the report, as you can see, it will not generate automatically but because we need to provide the parameter which is the header title test report and then click view report so as you can see whatever we type here that will be the header or that will be the value that will be provided on our header okay so that is the purpose of this parameter okay so another thing that I want to discuss is the other objects that we can insert in our report. So uh, earlier we used this table. So aside from this table, we have this matrix. So but we will not tackle this because it's a little bit uh, up out of the topic because it's more advanced. We can also have this, and we can also insert charts. These are the charts, also the text box. So basically, this all of these are just text box, and we can also insert images, just in case you want if you want to put a logo on our header or anything. And we can also add lines, just in case if you want to put lines anywhere here, and also rectangle and sub report maybe we can discuss it in a different uh print tutorial so header is just this one and then the footer is this one so now we have completed successfully created a new ssrs report and we have successfully saved it in our report server so on our next video i will show you on how to display this report into a asp.net mbc project so hopefully I can see you in the next video and thank you for watching. Hope you like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks again. Bye.